Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at a band cave control deck featuring two copies of Doppelgang as one of our finishers voted on by my supporters on Patreon. This is a triple X spell for a blue and a green as well. And then for each of X target permanents, create X tokens that are copies of that permanent. So the goal in this deck, if the opponent doesn't have any juicy targets, is to actually copy our cavernous maw, a land cave that can turn into a 3-3 creature if we have enough caves to activate it. And uh, yeah, if we can make lots of creature lands, then we can usually close out the game on the following turn. And then with cavernous maw entering untapped from the doppelgang, we can potentially even cast another big spell in the very same turn where we cast our uh, doppelgang. So that can also come up. So that's one of our finishers. Now, how do we build up enough mana to cast a lethal doppelgang? Well, that's where Mind Splice Apparatus comes in handy. Can flash this in, and then it will slowly pick up these uh, oil counters, which will give us a discount to all of our instant and sorcery spells. We can also speed up that process by proliferating with Experimental Augury, which also lets us take a look at the top three cards. So that can also help smooth out our draws, hit our land drops, find relevant interaction, and then eventually it can find our finishers. And then we can also ramp the old-fashioned way using green mana. With a glimpse of the core we can find one of our forests. We only have three in the deck since we don't want too many since we are still kind of a blue-white deck at its core. But uh, we can also eventually get back caves from our graveyard should the opponent answer a cavernous maw for instance. And then a Cosmium Confluence can also search up three cave cards. Occasionally can also destroy enchantments or turn one of our caves into a creature. But uh, we're often going to get one of our eight caves, either Sunken Citadel, which enters tapped, but then we can choose a color and it can make two mana of that color to help activate abilities of lands, which is very useful at uh, activating Cavernous Maw, which requires two mana to turn it into a 3-3. So these are the eight caves in the deck. And then you've got your traditional control elements, a few spot removal spells. March also benefits from Mind Splice Apparatus, but we can cast it early if needed, even by pitching a white spell from our hand. Then there's a Get Lost, can also hit Enchantments and Planeswalkers, so both of these are quite versatile. And then we've got some Sweepers, Depopulate, a copy of Sunfall, and then two copies of White Sun's Twilight, which also doubles up as a life gain spell and as a win condition, since we can make lots of 1-1 Might tokens, which can try to poison the opponent to death. Then we also have a counter spell in the form of Syncopate, can cast it early if needed, but in the late game it doesn't lose potency like it normally would, thanks to the mana discount from Mind Splice Apparatus. And then we also have some big card draw effects with Silver Scrutiny, can sink a lot of extra mana into it to essentially draw all the cards we need, and then uh, hopefully find our Doppelgang or White Sun's Twilight to close out the game. And then Union of the Third Path, also an important piece against the Red Burn decks, as it can gain us a lot of life back, especially nice after resolving a large Silver Scrutiny, as we can easily gain 10 plus life. And then the rest of our mana base has Headquarters as an important mana fixer, can also cycle it in the late game, and then a bunch of blue-white dual lands, since we are kind of a blue-white control deck at its core, and then a Soaring City and Iganjo can offer a bit more utility. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play with a nice hand. Turn to Glimpse sets up turn 3 Apparatus. Augury can proliferate the oil counter. And then we can set up a big White Sun's Twilight. Let's see what we're up against. Humans. Alright, if Thalia shows up that could be annoying. I guess for now I could play Cavernous Maw. And it's going to be a Vanguard instead. Alright, that's fine. So we'll pass with Mind Splice available. Something like Adelin could hit pretty hard. It's going to be a Thalia instead. So play Apparatus in response. Apparatus offsets Thalia a little bit. Can play a 2-mana Augury. And then see what we pick up. Another Augury. Probably better than another White Suns. So we can now cast this for one mana. And then I guess I should do that now. Finding Confluence may not be necessary. Let's go for Scrutiny. And 
And then next turn we should be able to White Suns to clear the board. Adlin's fine. So let's say we float all our mana here. 4 plus force 8 minus 1 is 7. So x equals 7. Back up to 18, and this should be a 2 turn clock. Opponent is playing red as well. Cathar can clear one token. And a Vanguard. Syncopate's good backup. So let's say we cast Scrutiny X equals maybe 7. Tapping Cavernous Maw and our Forests. I guess uh, minus 1 here. Okay, and then now Union is pretty good. And we could do a number of things, including get lost on Vanguard attack all out. Could also pass with Syncopate available. Part of me wants to just dig towards our uh, other finisher, just to see it in action. But we're out of card draw effects, so it may take us a while to get there. Serpon can block one creature, take five poison. And yeah, our opponent has seen enough, we've got a full grip on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, we seem to have a fine hand. Facing what could be Esper. This probably wants to name blue now, so we don't have to pay life to a darker waste. Turn to keep up Syncopate and Augury. And a Mastermind. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty annoying since we have Union we want to cast, although we can cast this in the opponent's turn too. It's not as bad as a Rafine would be. So maybe I'll let that one go. Shieldred also maybe a must counter. And then we can still augury. Could also keep it until after we play Apparatus. But uh, good to dig a bit deeper. And then another Union. Maybe what we need over Doppelgang. Although Doppelgang will be a great finisher if we combine it with the extra mana from Apparatus and Confluence. So it's definitely the more fun option. So we can pass with Union. Make sure to cast it in the opponent's turn not to trigger Mastermind. Well, now if our opponent activates Mastermind, they can draw a lot of extra cards. Their land enters tapped, luckily. Alright, so now we've got Mind Splice at the ready. Hoping they don't commit more threats that we need to counter. They could of course have their own counter spells. And a tide binder gonna try and stop the apparatus trigger and essentially shut it down. So could syncopate here. Have to do it for x equals three, so I'm basically tapped out. Or I can just play another apparatus, which is probably better at this point. And then try and set up our sweeper. Land is good. Could now also just play a confluence. Which is maybe still preferred. Get a bunch of lands. So let's say we get one cavernous maw and then double citadel. One on blue, one on white. Rafine shows up. 
Okay. So hopefully the coast is clear for White Suns to wipe the board. If they have a counter spell, we're dead. The populates is maybe safer here. Opponent does get to draw for Fiend, but we can counter a counter spell with Syncopate if needed. And then I can still play another apparatus. Okay. So apparatus is now working again. As intended. Virtue makes a token, that's acceptable. Can block it with a maw if needed, but could also play around removal. Just take the hit for now. Opponent plays the enchantment, that's acceptable. Mind splice number two. Gets make disappeared, that's good to get out of the way. Okay, so we've got a lot of mana here. Maybe wait on Doppelgang until we build up our apparatus a bit more, and then for now White Suns X equals uh, 7. Should buy us a lot of time. Don't think it's worth it to keep up Syncopate. And our opponent explodes, unfortunately. So, yeah, next turn we could have cast a pretty large doppelgang, and we can do the math here. So, apparatus up to two counters means doppelgang for X equals three, if I'm not mistaken. And then it's just a matter of choosing our targets. Cavernous Maw and Mind Splice is a good starting point, and then Virtue of Loyalty could be our third choice. If we choose a darker way so we can keep up Syncopate, and then set up a huge silver scrutiny, and then it's not going to be long before we find our second copy of Doppelgang. Okay, we're on the draw. I've got a Keeper. Glimpse sets up our mana, and then Augury can find whatever card we're missing. Up against... looks like Jeskai. Okay, so if we can Glimpse and set up a turn 3 Mind Splice, that would be a big deal. Well, their opponent's going to keep up mana. Still worth it to have Mind Splice available. Opponent does not budge. They are stuck on three. So I guess um, play Augury. And then second Scrutiny is tempting. Yeah, since we can make our land drop, I think it's fine. And then now that we drew Union, I'll still go with uh, keep up for mana for Apparatus and Union. Otherwise, I might have just cast a Glimpse. Opponent with a Lightning Helix. And we'll resolve our Mind Splice now. Possible they can remove artifacts, but it's not as easy as removing creatures or enchantments. Maybe a White March? Okay, fair enough. X equals 4, so they had to pitch two cards to it. So the game continues. Can main phase Union and then still Glimpse. Now they could still counter this, but I want to gain the extra life. And uh, I don't think we'll need Igunjo as a channel land. I guess, do we even have a forest left? I guess we don't, since we uh, only have three. So Glimpse doesn't actually do anything can just hold it to eventually get back a uh, cave from the graveyard. Take our turn. Confluence is excellent. Is it going to resolve as a question? If it doesn't, then Scrutiny might resolve. Could also pass and then end of turn Scrutiny, draw three. Nah, let's just go for the Confluence here. And there's a no more lies to counter it, that's fine. Another scrutiny. 
Yeah, I think we just main phase it. X equals five. Opponent's gonna deluge in response. Can hit our land up for the turn. And then what to discard? Probably glimpse at this point. Depopulate could still maybe come in handy. So we found another mind splice. And now we can just pass and play it instant speed. Wandering Emperor is acceptable. I've learned much during my I guess I could now resolve our mind splice while the coast is clear. Wait on Augury until we pick up uh, Oil Counter, so we can proliferate. Good scrutiny for three, end of turn. Since we have another one in hand, that's reasonable. Can help us hit our land drop for the turn. And bone counters, that's fine. Okay, so cast Augury. And get a Confluence. Can cast this on the cheap. And now we're just missing Doppelgang as kind of the cherry on top. Opponent tries to dissipate. I will fight over this. And then keep the final... Syncopate for either a must answer threat from the opponent or to protect our uh, Silver Scrutiny or Doppelgang. Alright, pass it back. Still have Syncopate for X equals 5 available. And we've got a lot of time here, opponent's only hitting us for 4. Or they might make another Samurai. And since our game plan involves copying our creature land a bunch, we don't need to worry about Sorcery Speed Sweepers messing up our game plan. Alright, let's Augury. Keep digging. Get another Mind Splice, I suppose. I could cast a relatively large scrutiny, but I'll wait another turn. One potential concern is a farewell exiling our Mind Splice apparatus, but I'll let them uh, resolve the deluge. They might find one relevant counter spell, but hopefully not two. Field of Ruin can deal with one cavernous maw. Alright, cast Mind Splice. Untap. And find another Syncopate, that's huge. Okay, so now cast a pretty large Scrutiny. Can do it for X equals, let's say, 10 would cost me 6 mana total. Maybe do it for X equals 8. And then I could keep Cavernous Maw untapped, probably don't need all of them. That resolves. And we found Doppelgang, so that's the card we want to resolve now. Augury gives us more mana for free, essentially. Find another Cavernous Maw. Proliferate. Cast a Union while we're at it. Okay, and then it's 
probably time for a large doppelgang. I guess her opponent can field of ruin one of the cavernous maws in response. So that's slightly annoying. So maybe we want to wait a turn for now depopulate and then could maybe bait the opponent into using Field of Rune on Cavernous Maw right now. Opponent dissipates. That's lovely. All right. Yeah, I guess we could animate a Cavernous Maw, although then I'll be kind of shields down on Syncopate a little bit more. Yeah, I guess we'll just pass for now. Keep up double Syncopate. That seems safer. Opponent with a Faithful Mending. That's acceptable. Yeah, I'm hoping our opponent sticks around for another turn. And then this doppelgang is going to be glorious. Could have definitely tapped more of our forests, which we don't need here. Wandering Emperor makes another samurai. Keep watch for intruders. Take five. Don't think we'll be able to bait them into using Field of Ruin. Another union can go first. Now we could also just copy Mind Splice Apparatus to set up an even bigger doppelgang that's left in the deck, but that might be a bit overkill. That resolves. Okay, let's try X equals 4. Could probably even do 5 if we wanted to. And then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tap some of our cavernous maws and our green mana. So they can field of ruin one of them in response. Opponent with amending, that's fine. And that resolves. That's 20 cavernous maws. That's glorious. Okay, Confluence can. Uh, Get some more Sunken Citadels, I guess. Do we even have left in the deck? Uh, might have one of them. So I can go for counters instead. Opponent with a Delusion response. We'll let them have it. And now we have Syncopate available times two. Can march one of the tokens. Casting the depopulate first also would have made sense. But yeah, next turn we can uh, send in most of our creature lands. Could have also kind of done a split between Cavernous Maw and Sunken Citadel, so the Citadel pays for the Maw activation. But I think we'll be alright. Well, mission accomplished. Cast a large doppelgang. Took us a while. It's not always easy to have your opponents stick around when you're this far ahead. But that's our finale, and it's not that easy for decks to interact with once you make a million creature lands. Sweepers don't work. You only have so many Field of Ruins or Insta Speed Removal. And now with eight copies of Mind Splice Apparatus, we can set up an even bigger doppelgang that's uh, left in our deck. So it does scale quite nicely once you get to this stage of the game. You just don't see it in action all that often. Our opponent may have disconnected here. We could also bounce the token to make sure Emperor dies. Okay. Pass it back. I guess I also could have just activated the Cavernous Maw to give it plus three plus three. Since we have a lot of Colos mana we can spend, so it wouldn't affect keeping up Syncopate. And then Cavernous Maw would hit for six, since uh, it still has three plus one counters on top of that. So yeah, a lot of options here. But uh, not sure if our opponent's here. All right, they seem to be back. Temporary Lockdown, gonna deal with our Cavernous Maw. No, it's non-land permanent, so it doesn't actually do anything. Our tokens still have mana value 4. Maybe trying to bait out a Counterspell. Yeah, that's over 20 Cavernous Maws. 
Mind Splice Apparatus triggers. Can we top deck another doppelgang? If we do, I'll cast it. If not, I'll just go for lethal. And I get lost the draw. All right, let's fire these up. Probably want to keep up a syncopate just in case. This is probably more than enough. But while we're here, opponent seems to have disconnected. All right, that should suffice. They do have a field of ruin to deal with one of them. Maybe a lightning helix, another one. Still take close to 30 damage. All right, sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Glimpse on two, and then Augury to maybe find a Mind Splice Apparatus, or some other ramp cards. Facing Red Aggro. Okay, so getting our life gain cards is going to be pretty important. Could technically march by pitching a Get Lost. Don't think that's going to be worth it. Take another two. And a raider gets in for two as well. There's our union, perfect. So we have a few options. Could just remove one of their creatures, although Get Lost will give them more artifacts to enable the raider. So I guess keeping up um, March isn't bad. Exile their one drop. And then next turn we can union gain some more life. Glimpse for extra mana would be okay. Although we're probably going to want a union on three. So the mana lines up better this way. And then we'll exile the Ronin. So they also lose an artifact for Tomb Raider. And Ronin's also difficult for us to answer with our sorcery speed sweepers. Opponent's got a Monstrous Rage on the Phoenix Chick, so we still take five. So now we have to make a decision between Union or maybe get lost on the Phoenix Chick. Bane Splitter, probably on the Tomb Raider now. Okay, so we'll be taking six. Union gains me six life, so it's kind of like a fog. Ideally we draw into our 4-mana Sweeper, Depopulate. Otherwise, I could just get lost the Tomb Raider. We only take 2 this turn. But then next turn my mana is less efficient. So let's just Union. And then next turn we can double spell. And then a Play With Fire is their last card. Let's them Scry. Okay, so we know what we're up against. Keeping up Syncopate for one alongside Augury is certainly an option. Right now I don't have a use for the extra mana from Glimpse. So let's do that. Just pass. And then the plan is get lost Tomb Raider. opponent will get to explore a bunch. And this is 3 mana to equip, so they could also opt to just suit up the Phoenix Chick. And a shock. Okay, can't counter that one. So we're at 3. So finding another union with Augury would be important. Play with fire on top doesn't kill me. If we can answer Phoenix check, we'll see if they want to 
explore again. All right, let's augury. Finding a sunfall. Uh, yeah, that keeps me alive. Can play the maw as well. Now we're essentially at one life. So can't feel great about it, but opponents out of creatures. And syncopate can counter their next threat. Now a darker waste can't make colored mana for us anymore. But yeah, we can uh, glimpse and then we'll still have syncopates available. Plus maybe we can cycle a headquarters. Synthesizer. Thing that's worth countering since it's essentially representing multiple cards. So now our safety net is gone. So main phase cycle headquarters. Probably keeping one green source untapped. Okay, can cast a Confluence, getting some more caves. And then do we get three caves or do we want to put some counters on Cavernous Maw? I guess we need to get three caves to enable Maw in the first place. And then could maybe get one Sunken Citadel. And naming maybe Blue. Alright, let's see if we're dead to a Haste Creature or Burn Spell. We are. Alright, GG's. So, in hindsight, I guess we could have survived by getting one fewer cave, but putting three plus one counters on an untapped Maw, although we still die to a burn spell, and then we don't have enough caves to activate Maw in the first place. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is slow, missing a few lands perhaps, but it is powerful. If we can hit our land drops with Augury, get to Confluence or Sunfall to wipe the board, and then Scrutiny to take over. So I'll try it. Opponent also blue-white. If it's a control deck we're up against, then counter spells like Syncopate are important. Hitting our land drops is also important. And then our creature land, especially once we can copy it with Doppelgang, could help close the game. So sadly cannot select the apparatus here. I'll get... Uh, Headquarters, even though it doesn't let me cast Union. I think that'll be okay. Is your opponent on Jeskai control? Likely featuring Lightning Helix. Maybe Zergo and Ojutai at 5. Apparatus is nice, although unlikely to resolve. Alright, I guess now we can resolve it. Didn't think we cared too much about Wandering Emperor. Would much rather get the apparatus going. Run away. You'll be safe. Keep watch for intruders. So double samurai kind of runs into our sunfall eventually. And a big score. Okay. So we have a few options here. Resolving Cosmium Confluence would be a big deal, although our opponent may be able to counter it here for two mana with a new blue-white counter spell. Could cycle Union just to gain a lot of live bias time and try and hit our land drop. I think that's safer. Perfect. And then the second Union we can cast in the opponent's turn, even though we miss out on one life gain. Let's just keep up Syncopate and get lost. So yeah, we just want to build up a huge mana advantage over the opponent. So we can leverage cards like Scrutiny, Syncopate. And of turn Union. And a Farsight Ritual in response. So our opponent's going digging. 
Now with only one samurai, there's no real pressure to cast Sunfall. Union resolves. And a land is good, so play a land, play Confluence, can pay for a conditional counter spell. And get three caves. Get double Cavernous Maw plus one Sunken Citadel, which can name probably blue. And we'll pass a turn. Could fire off a smaller Silver Scrutiny. We'll see what our opponent does. Let your blade do the talking. Take three. Yeah, I'm not opposed to a smaller scrutiny here. Would be X equals three, which we can still do at instant speed. If they counter it, fine. If not, we still have another one. Alright, opponent's gonna big score again. Not sure what the opponent's combo finish or top end is like. Could involve Chandra. Okay, so play another cavernous maw. Can uh, glimpse, get a forest, and at this point we're just looking for doppelgang to close out the game for us. Might be time to sunfall, even though we could also use cavernous maw as a blocker. I guess it's kind of awkward against a 3-3, so yeah, I don't mind sunfall. And then wait another turn on silver scrutiny. Could also attack with Cavernous Maw to pressure the Wandering Emperor. And if uh, they answer it, it's not the end of the world. Do want to leave some mana untapped for Syncopate. Alright, points got another Wandering Emperor. So that would be exiling Cavernous Maw. So I could fight over this Syncopate, tapping two lands. And then they have no Wandering Emperors. Not sure if it's worth it, since Syncopate is pretty important to counter opposing counter spells, but if they're conditional in nature, then I guess we're fine. So, Syncopate X equals 4. Mostly paid for by Apparatus. They could, of course, have a different removal spell, Lightning Helix, but at least that'll cost them some treasures. Alright, that's fine. We'll let that go. Could get lost Emperor, but I don't think I'm uh, too threatened by it. And Cavern Small still tracks copies in the graveyard. Alright, there's Chandra, so that's kind of a must answer. Whether we syncopate or whether we get lost is the question. I guess we'll start with syncopates. X equals 4. So let me tap manually just in case. Our opponent could counter back with one of their conditional counter spells, but it doesn't seem like they have it. Okay, so now opponent's mostly tapped out. We can resolve a huge silver scrutiny. Remember your training. And a glimpse can get back Cavernous Maw from the graveyard. Okay, so let's say we do X equals 10 might be good. So let's see, 4, 6... Yeah, that seems okay. Could also make it like 8, which is maybe more reasonable. So we don't have to discard to hand size a bunch. And our opponent concedes, sadly, don't get to go off with Doppelgang. Alright, so we get to see our banned control deck in action. Sadly, it didn't get to cast a doppelgang as much as I would have liked, but uh, understandably, after resolving a big silver scrutiny, most opponents are going to concede. But if we do ever manage to pull it off, and maybe also copy a Mind Splice apparatus, you can see how you can easily set up an even bigger doppelgang on the following turn, and then a Cavernous Maw can also help close out the game, which dodges most uh, sweepers and other interaction you can think of. So overall, not 
the most competitive deck out there since you're gonna probably lose a few games to a fast start from mono red aggro or the red white convoke deck which are very popular in best of one but if the meta game were to shift towards more mid-range and control strategies then uh, this style of mind splice apparatus control can uh, easily go over the top and ignore most interaction so that's going to do it for today's gameplay wanna thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always have a nice day